Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and this evening we'll have a look at the live radar We'll also have a look at the latest from the UK Met Office shorter range model and then we'll also go through the various longer range models um, Having a look at the potential for some really quite stormy weather over the coming weeks as autumn truly does arrive So do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you do like and subscribe and do remember to follow on Twitter as well the links in the description so at the moment, if you have a look at the live radar, you can see the weather front that spread through overnight uh, last night into this morning. We saw quite a significant squall line, especially through the sort of North Midlands area and through London and East Anglia as well. It was a little bit fragmented, so some areas didn't quite see um, really significant squally sort of potential, but some areas got a real smacking. Um, very strong winds and very heavy rain. You can see that's cleared. There's a bit of a dry sector for many areas in the east. However, as the cooler polar maritime air mass moves in, a lot of unstable air, that's where we're seeing these heavy showers pop up. Potentially a little bit thundery within them, but generally very quick to move through, but very heavy nonetheless. Um, and it does mean one minute, nice little sunshine. Next minute, a heavy shower does move through. They have mainly been in the west, but they will progress further eastwards um, and of course whenever you are near the ocean because these are sort of convective based um, uh, showers but if you are near any sea or ocean you're more likely to be getting these showers especially in off the Atlantic and the Irish Sea um, whereas you can see further eastwards they do fizzle out a little bit but they should be moving inland a little bit more soon so if you do have a look at the 24-hour precipitation you can see all of the British Isles are seen heavy rain um, and potentially very very heavy rain especially over scotland from some, you can see here with this yellow color 40 to 60 millimeters plus um and in a few spots even more and widely 20 millimeters 10 to 20 millimeters for many areas of england wales and again a few spots seeing more um so pretty much all of the british Isles has seen some significant rain over the last 24 hours and i expect there still will be some more showers to come over the coming days and more deluges as well as more weather fronts do progress in off the atlantic so if we do have a look at the uk met office run if we do have a look at the precipitation if we do run through it, uh, we'll go back to the three o'clock run um, so we could get some consistency. Um, yeah, let's go to the latest run. So if we do have a look at the latest um, from the UK Met Office, you can see heavy showers moving through overnight tonight. And then in early hours tomorrow, still heavy showers in the west and potentially some more persistent rain around midday tomorrow in Wales, to northern England and the southwest as well. Progressing eastwards, fizzling away a little bit, but still a well-defined weather front with some very heavy rain moving through around 4 or 5 p.m. So quite significant there, progressing eastwards and then just more showers pushing in behind it. And then another deluge moves through. Um, and you can see here... Uh, does look like um, the model does cut out at 53 hours, but you can see another deluge is approaching by Wednesday um, with some very, very heavy rain pushing through. And if we do have a look at the 3 o'clock Sunday run, so we had a look yesterday, once again, more showers pushing through by the end of the week. Um, and does look like we could be seeing some quite significant conditions for some. If we do have a look at the max temperatures, generally over the next few days, it's going to be cooler than it has been recently. Um, by Tuesday afternoon, only 16, 17, 18 degrees, which isn't too bad for this time of year, but we're a good 4 or 5 degrees above that um, over the weekend. And widely, for western areas under the more cloud and with more showers, struggling around 10, 11, 12 degrees. In some areas, even staying in single digits, which really is um, pretty chilly. And then all the way into Wednesday, you can see temperatures once again, really only 12, 13 degrees, really quite autumnal and chilly as we've got that polar maritime air mass pushing through. So yeah, you might want to be getting your coats out um, for the middle of this week, um, as it does look like it is going to be really quite chilly. And then by Thursday morning, you can see there is a bit of a warmer sector starting to push up in the southwest, which so is like Thursday could be a little bit of a warmer day. So if you do have a look at the latest GFS, you can see it is looking um, very unsettled at the moment. And I have had a look at this already, and it's very interesting towards next weekend. And there's the potential for a named storm if this current GFS came off, um, as it gets a really vigorous low-pressure system over top of the UK. So if we do run through it, um, you can see generally 
just low pressure systems pushing through over the coming days warmer and cooler sectors so some days are going to be quite chilly other days can be a little bit milder you can see thursday is a milder day however you can see wednesday much chilly as we saw with the uk met office run beyond that you can see as we head towards sunday a really vigorous low pressure system does spin up around the uk a lot of northern blocking out towards greenland is trapping these lows spinning them up incredibly deep um, and if we have a look at the United Kingdom, look, getting down to 952 millibars, which is um, exceptionally deep. And if, if this did come off, um, I would suspect there would be amber warnings in force for wind, if not potentially um, even red warnings, because this is an incredibly deep area of low pressure. Uh, area of low pressure. Um, is it likely to come off like this? Um, probably not. But... Um, this is a solution only around six days away, six, seven days away. So um, it is, of course, uh, potentially going to be this deep. It is guaranteed to happen. We are going to see this low pressure push through. Just how deep it gets is the uncertainty at this stage. We'll have a look at the other runs in a minute. They all are all showing this similar low pressure system develop, just not quite as deep. And as we move through, it eventually does move to our northwest. And we stay quite unsettled. Um, and if we have a look at the energy HPA, we have really quite cool, chilly polar maritime air mass pushing in from the northwest. And that does sweep through Scotland. Could see some very cold conditions there, potentially getting below freezing at night. And then towards day 10 and beyond, just spinning up more areas of low pressure. We do briefly see some high pressure trying to ridge in from the south. It does turn a little bit dry towards the end of the run. But still, um, you can just see that westerly jet stream pushing in. And undoubtedly, there will be more weather fronts and more heavy rain at times. So if we do have a look at the GMC, that does compare to the GFS, especially in terms of next weekend. You can see a lot of low pressure around. does spin up more low pressure by next weekend. And you can see, again, a very, very vigorous area of low pressure. Getting down to 966 millibars, so not quite as deep Um uh, as the GFS still could potentially be a named storm um, and at this stage I say it's pretty likely we see um, a named storm I rarely would say that around six days away but having a look at these latest model output there's I'd give it a good chance potentially of seeing a named storm here this one's a little bit shifted further northwards um, but again, you can see very tight ice bars will be some very heavy rain and very strong winds and you can see beyond that, generally very, very unsettled um, conditions continue all the way to day 10. We see more weather fronts pushing through. If we do go to the European outlook, once again, you can see another weather front pushing through, briefly potentially getting a bit of a southerly blast of warmer air, which may rise the temperatures um, through sort of Thursday, Friday uh, in 10 days' time. But again, it's going to be uh, accompanied by a weather front that will sweep through very, very quickly. So if we do have a look at the Eastern OEF, see how that does compare. You can see very uh, vigorous low pressure system does move through by next weekend. And if we do a look at the United Kingdom, look, you can see only 990 millibars. Still could be quite a vigorous area of low pressure, but nowhere near as deep as the other two. So, as I said, it's undoubtedly um, going to happen that we are going to see this sort of stormy weather into next weekend. But if it's a named storm and how deep and disruptive it is, is the question at this stage. And beyond that, as into Tuesday, we see another low pressure system and just more westerly winds. Um, continuing the very unsettled out look. So if we do have a look at the UK Met Office um, and up until 144 hours. I normally only have a look at this in winter um, to give us another opinion as we get a lot of uncertainty in the winter. And I know a lot of people are interested for winter forecasts, but going to use it here just to have a look at what it is showing for next weekend. And you can see towards the next weekend, it really does spin up a big area of low pressure as well. Now getting down to maybe 970 minibars, so still really quite deep. And positioned further northwards and westwards than the GFS, and a bit further westwards than the GM. But still could be a named storm, and we'll have to keep an eye on what happens with this. So if we do have a look at the UK Met off, uh, or not the UK Met off, sorry, the GFS Ensembles, if have a look at the precipitation. Well, we did say yesterday there was some big spike come up around 3rd or 4th of October, and that is where this big low pressure system next weekend is cropping up within the models. So we did spot it yesterday. It wasn't quite coming up in the operational runs as deep as it is now, but it is now starting to come through. And you can see a lot of up and down weather 
quite cool at the moment and it's going to turn even cooler over the coming days. Probably by Wednesday, feeling really quite chilly. More weather fronts pushing through as well. Then we get a bit of up and down as temperatures do flip um, up and down with the cold and warm fronts and generally stays really quite unsettled for the foreseeable future. If we do have a look at the sea level pressure, you can see summer going really deep by next weekend. Got a good 10, 12 ensembles going below 1,000 millibars, um, which is a uh, way more 15 ensemble members, which is really um, sort of unusual for sort of six, seven days out. Um, so it does look look like it's pretty certain we are going to be seeing this really quite deep low move through how deep and whether it's a named storm is the uncertainty of this stage um, we'll have to keep an eye on what happens but as you can see some very very vigorous low pressure systems are developing and even more interesting is if we go have a look at glasgow which will undoubtedly be closer to the center of the storm um, or the low pressure system, you can see even deeper there, the average is around 990 millibars, but again, you can see a lot more variation, um, and you can see the operational one going down to 965, which is incredibly low, um, um, for, uh, sort of, uh, early October time, and you can see the majority are below 1,000 millibars, so it's pretty certain we're going to be seeing low pressure, just how vigorous, as I said, is the uncertainty at this stage, and where it is positioned, of course, will decide whether where we see the lowest um, pressure, because some of these, which are showing 995 millibars um, for Glasgow, could have the centre of the low um, over Northern Ireland or over Wales um, being 20 millibars deeper, so... We have to take these, of course, with a bit of a pinch of salt because the centre of the load could be, um, um, it's not going to be exactly the same on all of these ensemble members. But you can just see it's going to be an interesting weekend next week. If you look at the 850 HPA temperature and precipitation, you can see generally below average over the next 10 days. Then we do see quite a few going above average. Um, but again, it's really quite uncertain and there are quite a few that are going cooler than average as well. A lot of precipitation around, no real respite for Scotland, um, and it does look like it's going to be pretty miserable out there. Um, but I do hope you can go and enjoy any sunny and dry weather you do see if you are in Scotland. If it is looking like real autumn is going to be arriving. Now, lastly, um, I just wanted to have a look at what the GFS uh, is showing for wind gusts next week. As we saw with the earlier in the video, a very vigorous low pressure system. If we do run through the wind gusts, you can see generally 20, 30 mile per hour wind gusts over the coming days, maybe 40 or 50 miles per hour, potentially where we do see um, some weather fronts move through, maybe even 60 miles an hour towards Friday as a more deeper lower pressure system move through. But as we head through to Sunday, you can see the developing low and it gets really quite severe. And you can see it's got almost an eye to it, only 10, 12 mile per hour gust in the center, but on its southern flank towards London, 60, 70, 80 mile an hour gusts inland, which is truly exceptional. Um, seeing sort of 70, 80 mile an hour sporadic gusts um, along the Needles, for example, along the south coast, um, or exposed areas like the Isle of Wight, it's not un unusual in an autumnal, wintry um, sort of storm. However, inland, getting up to 70 mile per hour, that is truly exceptional, and that would cause a lot of disruption um, throughout Sunday afternoon. Um, and it is quite, 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 quite widespread across East Anglia, central southern England, into Wales, um, and up into sort of northern England, Scotland. And as it does pull away, we could be seeing 80. 90 mile an hour wind gusts potentially out in the North Sea, really quite disruptive. You wouldn't be surprised to see ferries cancelled, flights cancelled for this. So it could be a truly exceptional um, uh, sort of windstorm next weekend. But again, we'll have to keep an eye on what happens um, and how deep it does get. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you again for another video soon.